One of the things we wanted to do in Edinburgh is really to enhance the current drug discovery process. Uh, the last 10 years in the pharmaceutical industry has been quite challenging. We really see high failure rates in drug discovery, especially when the drugs start going into the clinical development. Uh, most drugs fail. So what we want to do in Edinburgh is really try and put a bit more confidence back into the drug discovery industry by looking at new technologies and new ways to discover drugs that really do make an impact on patient lives. So what we have in the Institute of Genetics and Molecular Medicine, we've devised something within the cancer unit called the Edinburgh Cancer Discovery Unit. And this is a core unit of new technologies and new capabilities to um, drive out a more, what I call a more phenotypic approach to drug discovery. This is where we look more at the effect the drug has on the disease, rather than the effect the drug has on a nominated protein or target. Where we specialize in Edinburgh, particularly in the Institute of Genetics and Molecular Medicine, is uh, in high advanced imaging technology and protein microarray and genetic profiling. So that allows us to profile what drugs do at uh, a more global level uh, in different preclinical models and in different proteins, different pathways. So we understand what the real mechanism of the drug, not what we think it does, but what it really does do in advanced models. And it also allows us to understand patient disease as well by profiling the disease in a bit more detail. And by using these approaches, we hope to map the patient's disease better to the drug. So the right patient is getting the right drug, or even more importantly, the right patient is getting the, the right combination of drugs because we now believe that to treat complex diseases like cancer, neurodegeneration, cardiovascular disease, a very specific drug isn't going to work. We need a combination of agents to really combat that disease across patients. So we're moving away from what we call reductionist approach to drug discovery to a more holistic approach. We're looking more in a biased way uh, at what drugs do. Now we can do that much better than an industry because we have very close links to the clinicians to chemists, to engineers, and to other technologies that can really enhance this discovery process. This is uh, what we call a reverse phase protein microarray machine. It allows us to quantify multiple proteins across thousands of samples. So a lot of peer people have invested a lot of research in genetic profiling, profiling different diseases at the genetic level. But we're more interested in proteins because what genes do is genes make proteins and drugs, therapies work on proteins. So it's the protein level that really dictates response to therapy. Uh, so we've invested in the state-of-the-art protein microarray platform. And what it does is it allows us to spot multiple samples from different patients onto small microchips. And we can then use special detection reagents to quantify how much protein is in these samples. And that allows us to understand a lot about what drives disease. Also, we can do the exact same procedure in drugs tested in laboratory models to understand what do the drugs do at the protein level. So we're trying to match the drug response with patient disease. The great thing about this platform uh, from Zeptisins as well is there are only about five or six in the world outside the company. And we've got the first one in the UK. So we're in quite a priv privileged position one of the reasons why we've been placed one in Edinburgh is our great access to clinical samples uh, through the local hospital connections. So one of the great advantages we have here in Edinburgh in the Institute of Genetics and Molecular Medicine is that operating theatres and where they treat the patients is just in the next building. So we can get samples very quickly under controlled conditions, make sure the sample is very good quality to put onto this platform. And the company Zeptis has seen that as a real valuable opportunity to develop the platform, apply it much more at the clinical interface than purely in the laboratory environment. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.